The Flat Man is a scary story for kids about a monster that creeps into your room at night and hides in the darkness, waiting for his chance to strangle you in your sleep. At night, when you're lying snug in your bed and you're tossing and turning and unable to get to sleep, you sometimes hear strange noises. You hear a soft tap 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 on the window. You try to tell yourself it's just a tree branch tapping against the glass, but deep down inside, you know it's the flat man. He's trying to get in. His bony fingers scrape against the window frame. He squeezes himself through the cracks. He slides across the windowsill. He's so thin, he can creep in without you knowing. You can't keep him out. You peer into the darkness, trying to catch a glimpse, but he's too smart. If you turn on the light, he hides behind wardrobes and curtains. He's always one step ahead. When you breathe a sigh of relief and turn off the light again, he emerges from his hiding place. The flat man is afraid of the light. He lurks there in the shadows. He presses himself up against the wall. He creeps in the darkness from corner to corner, silently waiting for you to fall asleep. You strain your ears to listen, but you can't hear a thing. The flat man is holding his breath and waiting, without making a sound. You feel a chill run down your spine because you know he's there. The moment you relax and close your eyes, the flat man will slide across the floor and slip under your bed. Even though it's warm, you still shiver because you know he's close. You pull the covers tightly around you, trying to protect yourself, but nothing can protect you from the flat man. As you lie there on your side, you can feel him behind you, lying beside you. His bony fingers skitter and flutter softly against the bed sheets. You feel the chill of his breath on the back of your neck. You lie there, too terrified to move as his paper-thin arms slowly wrap around you. As soon as you fall asleep, his gnarled hands will cover your nose and mouth. You won't be able to breathe. Your body will struggle to take one more breath of air. You'll wake up, gasping for air and you'll cry out for help. Perhaps the flat man will let you live. Perhaps he will just slide back into the shadows, or he will lurk again, waiting for his next chance, waiting until you let down your guard. He's waiting for that perfect night, when there's no one else in the house and no one there to hear your cries and no one will come running when you scream and he can strangle you in your sleep and nobody will ever know what happened to you. The Baby Cradle is a spooky tale for children. It is also known as the cradle that rocked itself. It was a dark night and there was a raging storm along the coast. A fierce wind blew in from the sea and the waves crashed violently against the rocky shoreline. Many of the ships at sea that night were in trouble, struggling to stay afloat. They had been caught in the storm and some of them were never heard from again. The wind rattled the doors and windows of the small houses on the cliffs that overlooked the churning ocean. In one warm little cottage, a young woman was cooking the dinner when she suddenly turned and called out to her husband. Did you hear that? she asked. What? said her husband, tapping his pipe against the table. I thought I heard a baby crying out there, she said. It's just the wind howling, he replied. Or maybe it's a seal. Sometimes the frightened cry of a seal sometimes sounds like a baby. No, I know a baby when I hear it, said the woman. The husband shook his head. How could it be, he said. What would a baby be doing out on a night like this? Neither of them ventured out into the storm to look. The next morning, the couple were walking along the beach when they saw some items that had washed ashore. They must have come from a ship that sank during the storm. The husband spotted a cradle among the debris. He picked it up and carried it back to their home. The storm had battered it about a little, but it was sturdy and undamaged. In the years that followed, the woman gave birth to a number of babies and each of them slept in the cradle. But, there was one strange thing about it. Every time there was a storm, the cradle would rock by itself. As the wind roared outside, the cradle would rock back and forth, as if someone were sitting next to it, gently rocking a baby to sleep. One day, 
the wife's sister came to visit and the family gathered at the kitchen table for dinner. While they were eating, the sister happened to glance into the living room. Who's that woman rocking the cradle? she asked in surprise. The father and mother looked at each other and said, What woman? There's no woman, the cradle rocks by itself. There is a woman there, said the sister. She has long dark hair, her face is pale and she looks very sad. She's just sitting there next to the cradle, rocking your baby. Alarmed, the wife jumped up from the table and quickly ran over to the cradle. She picked up her baby and held it in her trembling arms. That very night, the husband took the cradle outside and chopped it to pieces with an axe. He collected all the bits of wood and threw them in the fireplace. He lit a match and, as the flames took hold and the pieces of the cradle began to burn, they could hear the chilling sound of a baby screaming. But, after the fire died out and all pieces of the cradle had turned to ash, they never heard the cries again. 